parking. We're by Ali'i and they're having a contest today. We're running a little bit behind, but it's kind of rainy, so we're hoping that some people would leave and we can kind of take their spot. We'll probably hang out here for a little bit. And yeah, then we're, we found out that there's like a bunch of toxins in our water, so that's fun. There was a huge like gas leak the other day on like the military bases or something and 14,000 gallons of gas and counting got leaked into the public water. So um, yeah, we kind of noticed some things and we're kind of like, what do we do? So um, we picked up some water. I know it's not like the most environmentally friendly thing, but it's also like when you already have like known, we looked up the levels and there's like arsenic and all these things already in our water and we're like, uh, maybe we should do something about that. So we're looking into like potentially getting a water filter. We have like a Brita type filter, like the off brand of that, like the Costco one. But we're probably gonna need to do something else because like this is not good. You don't wanna bathe in petroleum. It's not so fun. No. This is us trying to find parking. We're going down the street. It's raining, so we're gonna get wet. Are you prepared to get wet? I guess so. What about over here? Yeah, we can try over here. Let's see if there's a spot here at all. Okay, so we watched the contest. We got a little bit wet. Very wet. What happened out there, Kaya? <clears throat> well, it was a lot of energy, a, lo a lot of uh, ferocious waves, and then uh, got a lot of rain. <laughs> and now we're going no. to leave. <laughs> oh man. Probably need to put these on the ferocious setting. Yeah, like literally, I wore pants, and usually I don't wear pants, but if I wear shorts, I would be cold right now. Yeah. Like it is like rainy and windy and the waves are like the faces are clean but it's got a lot of white water and a little bit of chop to it if Pretty that makes bumpy. sense. Pretty bumpy. And like even we were just talking to some folks and it's like the people that are usually like really good aren't doing so well today. And there's literally like a 16 year old out there who's like killing it. Which is so rad to see but also it's just like really challenging conditions. But it was good to go watch the contest for a bit. Now we're going to go to Down to Earth, our favorite place on island probably besides surf spots. <laughs> so um, favorite food place. If you ever want food while you're here and you want to know where to go and you don't want to go to like a restaurant or something, Down to Earth is the place. I'm like obsessed with like a lot of their stuff. And it's because it's like, all like vegan or plant-based and like they have vegetarian and whatever too but they just have so many options that are like all health-based and whatever and i just love that make some organic veggies <laughs> yes a little market we found we're coming for it and we can get some good greens we'll see what they got here i see some almond milk this is a good sign we may have found some vegan stuff two big bunches of kale show them the kale and we got it from this um, you know, organic farm which is pretty cool so check them out we're now gonna walk around the rest of the market here yeah I know but they probably cook it with the other stuff too though so at first they're like four dollars per bundle and then he was like oh and if you want you could do two for six and I was like yes all the kale so now we got kale we each got a big bundle of kale so we're pretty stoked on that this is the little down-to-earth mini grocery haul. We got an avocado sandwich, which are really good. They have some sprouts in there, some tomato, avocado, vegan mayo, and of course the bread. Zucchini chia bread, wheat-free. It looked really good and I've never tried it before. They had organic oats on sale, so I got those. And then I got these carob super greens, which are really good, especially when you're on the go. And like if I'm filming all day, I'll like pack a few of these. Or like you can put them with smoothies, whatever. They're really good and really full of calories so you can eat fast. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but like when you're really hungry. Um, and this was my sweet treat for today. And then I got a vegan burger, which is off of the value menu, so it's not that bad. So in total today, we we're looking at around, for this stuff, around 33.56. Yum, and then Kaya, tell us what you got. You got something cute from the market. Oh yeah, I got a coffee and then I got this um, luau bomb. It's actually vegan. What is in it? Uh, it's gonna be like luau leaves and then kabocha, I think, uh, sweet potato, and it's okay. Kaya, what's it gonna do for us? 
cleanse out the heavy metals and all of the pollutants in our body. Yeah, look at that. I've never heard of dulse before. It's like a like a seaweed. Oh, look at that. It smells salty. Watch out for seashells. Seashells? Yeah. Really? Yeah, sometimes these are little seashells. So always inspect it. going down to her trail. We've got the camera in hand. This is gonna be so cool. Kaya's got her cute little hat that we had in the back. We didn't know we were doing photos today, so this is kind of an impromptu thing. And I really like my overalls, so I'm gonna see if Kaya can get some shots of me as well. It should be yeah. super cool. going on over there which is why we didn't go all the way over because the girls like I don't know how do you guys feel about this like literally the girls like getting some guy to take very um let's just say um provocative photos of her like on the beach in like this public area without like a top on or anything I'm like uh yeah I don't know I'm not comfortable with that sort of stuff but you do you girl this is really pretty and Kaya just got stung by a bee oh by a bee and then her phone just dropped in the water because I was filming it and I don't even know. That was the craziest sequence of events and my foot is really sore. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Did you step on the bee? Yeah. I wasn't looking. I mean how many bees are actually on a beach usually? Not many. So like the fact that that happened is so random. I'm happy my phone still works. Yes. Everything. Some people are like what do you do with yourself living on Oahu? What do you do living in Hawaii? Well it turns out we went grocery shopping, we watched the surf contest before that, and then now we're at this beautiful beach and we just flipped our hair a bunch of times. So that's it. Just gotta flip your hair just like that. It's life. Just got some fresh aloe. So this is a surf in Makapu. Kaya just got stung by the bee though, so she's deciding. It's really pretty with the palm trees and all this, but the main thing is the surf and the water is so crystal clear and blue. I belong, I belong to you. Yeah, we should get our kale home so it stays good. For this? This is my favorite chocolate, Alter Ego Classic Blackout. And they have really good um, agroforestry farming techniques for the cacao, so it doesn't deplete the soil and it's good for the rainforest. And it tastes good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Kai was nice and she's sharing some of it. It is pretty good. It's like a very rich, dark chocolate. So you have like a square like this and you're set. Carissa, more and more girls I can talk. That's so cool. It's time, Kai, what time is it? Time. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to like her aunt has an art gallery down here, but we couldn't find it. And then we've been hydrating because we got these huge like jugs of water today. And um, now it's time to go to Wally World. We're going to Walmart just now. <laughs> and we're just pulling in the parking lot. Our phones are like, my phone's on like 8% and hers is dead. Sadly. And we don't have a car charger. So we're probably gonna pick up a car charger at Walmart too. Okay, restrooms are typically two. Do you want me to wait? So we're trying to figure out like we're looking at water filters because obviously there's like this big issue right now and they've literally put a sign where they limit it to like you can buy two things of water like that and that's it um, per purchase and so we went down and we looked here but they don't have any of those like multi-filtration systems they just have like the basic ones and so we're thinking we might have to order something online we're not really sure we're gonna like research these and figure out more um, the ones that seem the best are the life straw because it has like the thing that removes a lot of stuff and um, yeah so that's 52 and then there's like these are a bunch of like refrigerator ones which we don't even have and then there's like the tap one 
which is okay. But it seems like this one's pretty good. And then I've heard good things about either the pure or the zero water, uh, which is 34 and 29. But the thing is, those do not remove petroleum from your water. So it removes a lot of things, but it doesn't remove petroleum. The charging cable, got the waters, and now we're on our way. I guess the thing that I thought was I was like, okay, I have like a water filter. It's like the Costco one. It's probably fine. And what I'm realizing is that with the levels of arsenic in the water, with the levels of all these other chemicals, which is way over the federal limits, by the way, it's actually way worse than I thought, especially after we actually looked it up, like Kaya looked it up and like I was watching that and I was like, whoa. And the other thing is, that there's literally petroleum in our water now so they literally have a limit at walmart so you can only get two containers so now when we go to costco we're going to get water there too because what happens if we can't get safe water like that's not good water's kind of needed like food and water and shelter very good things to have love a good tj max trip wow Anyways, we're on a little detour. This is really cute. If I had a bigger space, this would be nice because it's like a storage ottoman. You could store stuff and you can work from it and you could put a little table in front of it, but we got a, we got a tiny room. We're not, we're not spacious enough for that. Okay, so we're gonna try the comfort test. It's like, it's okay. I feel like it would get uncomfortable after a little bit though. It's kind of cute though. It is cute. It's really cute. Cute little one. Dog seat. Like, oh. if I had a dog, this would be, like, our landlord's dog, Lola, could sit in this, and it would be the cutest thing ever. But if they had one in, like, my size, I would love that. <laughs> but they don't. It has to be, like, this big. We're literally, we're over here, like, debating if I should get, like, a dog bed to sit in because we haven't been able to find anything. Because, like, I work from, like, the bed and from the floor, so, like, if we were to find something, it would be great. Because we were looking for, like, a yeah. bean bag or something, but this is just, this is not it. It works. <laughs> nice. I don't know. I wonder if it has good carving. Honestly, I've been wanting a longboard skateboard for a while. I want one that I can like walk on. That's pretty good. Size. But this is like really good. And it's like pretty cheap too. Let's see, blue wheels, I like it. I like the blue stripes on it. Kind of reminds me of surfing. It's not bad in price, honestly. So what do you think? I don't know. Let me think on it. There's also like the penny boards. Those are really cute too. These are cute. I like the colors. And these are kind of like nice and convenient. Yeah. Convenient. I like it. It's nice and small, which is nice because we don't yeah, have a big space. So it's like convenient in that aspect. This is cool, but... So either I want to go with the one that's the longest or a tiny one like this. Because these are like tiny and compact and like easy to use. You can put them in a backpack. Yeah. Like if I'm gonna check the surf brakes, this yeah. would be good. And That's it has perfect. the big wheels for it, so it's kind of perfect. And I'm kind of a fan of the blue. I could see pink too, or the tan. I don't really know. What do you guys think? Blue. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of obsessed for with you? blue. Like everything in my wardrobe could be blue. And at one point it yeah. was. So like That'd this blue, cute. it's so cute. Yeah. And literally, I think I would use it all the time. So this is the real reason we came here. We just didn't know it. It was meant to be. I think that's more aesthetic. I, yeah. Like, I like this, but I want, you know those really big ones that people can walk away across and hang on the nose? Like, I want that. Oh, yeah. So I'm kind of like, I could save up and get one of those eventually. That'd be good Versus this, it's like, it's nice, but it's not the one where you sit on the nose the whole time. Yeah, it'd be hard to go. What do you think, Kaya? I'm gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> I like these. Yeah, I like the penny boards. Those are really cute. And, and then they have that tiny size, but I think that's like a good, good size. Yeah, I feel like that's a good size. And it's what, like 29 bucks? Yeah? Yeah. So that's like, that's pretty reasonable. Like 29 bucks for a skateboard? That's, that's pretty good. good. It reminds me, it's like the off-brand of penny boards. Yeah. There's also some shark mobiles. It's a good considering purchase here too. It's a megalodon. Hey, it's a megalodon shark. No worries. <laughs> Look the things you find, little luxuries as they call it. That's actually pretty expensive. No wonder they call it luxury. You guys wear this? Like, what? What did we put on swimwear now? It is weird. 559. Good old Costco on the weekend. We can't remember 
Does it close? Oh, Saturday, 7 p.m. Oh my gosh, we're We totally have good. made it in life. We are crushing it. It closes at 7. I thought it closed at 6, but on Sundays it closes at 6. <laughs> okay, so long story short, another location closes at 6 on Saturdays. This one is an hour longer, and that is amazing, and we made it in time. Because I was low-key freaking out for a minute, because it was like one minute before close. We are all geeks. We're all good. So you connect it, and you connect it. And then your guide. So how does that even work though? Because we just, we have Look. a bathroom sink. Arsenic. Oh, we want it to remove arsenic. Mm -hmm. And we want it to remove all these things. Mm -hmm. That would be so nice. Oh my gosh. I don't see chlorine. Yeah, but. There's probably more stuff it removes though. Huh. Weird. How would you get it to work though? So Designed to sit under your kitchen sink. We don't really have can a kitchen also sink. See, we don't have a kitchen sink. A utility room, garage, or stand freely. Stand freely. How does it stand freely? So that's what I don't know. And then there's what it looks like. I guess we should look at that. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but how do you connect it? How do you get the water? Yeah, how do you get the water out? That's the thing. Because mm. that's like, there's things online that are like 400, so that's not terrible, but like, Obviously, it's an investment, but do you want to drink arsenic? Maybe not. I don't know. We're going to Google it now. Blue Hero H2O. Okay, when I've made it big, I want something like that. That is so nice. Mm -hmm. You can like prep your veggies and like rinse it off and have a huge sink. That's that nice. right there is the dream. Oh. One day. It's even got like you can do a cutting board with it. Like, right whoa, that's so cool. Costco finally got ginger back in stock. This is what it costs. This is how much you get. Decent amount of ginger. And let's get some raspberries. These are $9.99. I like to get the rice cauliflower. I still have a whole thing of that. And then I like to get this just because it's easy and you can like saute them. And it's like four pounds and it's just it's quick and convenient and it's healthy so this is what i got so far and then some cucumbers and then banana and avocado oh yeah this is the cheapest one for good water is you get like a pack for 11.98 and it's this pack here so it's like 18 of them that are one liter each which yeah it gives you a good amount of water but like that's expensive and like compared to tap water it's so much more but do you want to drink something with petroleum in it or do you not? And like, you know, health is really important. So what's going to cost you more is like going to the hospital because of health issues from drinking petroleum? Probably going to cost you more. So um, that's where we're at right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've got so much that I bought today. I probably don't want to check my credit card, but I need to pay it off. But I got this cute little skateboard that I'm so excited to use. I got groceries, Kaya got these, which are really, really good from good old TJ Maxx. If you see these, there's your warning, they're addictive. You will not have them left in the car. I got the food from down to earth. I got the burger and the zucchini bread and the cookie. And then I had the avocado sandwich later in the day, kind of like a early dinner type thing because I was hungry. And see, that's what I ate today because I did not have time for breakfast because I went straight to the contest and I was like stressed and working and doing stuff. And then I got all this stuff in the back. So part of it's Kaya's and part of it's mine, but I'm especially excited about all this kale. The kale has been sitting all day, so we're definitely going to try and use it today and tomorrow. The Hydro Flask, oh my gosh, I've wanted a Hydro Flask for so long and these were actually a reasonable price. They're still an investment, but guys, I'm from North Carolina and this is Carolina Blue could not be a better match and the white looks so classy too so i'm really excited about that and then i got some raspberries that was a splurge for me really nice but i love it and it's so nutritious and then like the gluten-free oats and the veggies and the ginger so yeah among a few other things that you guys saw so i'm really stoked and excited today was a productive day got a lot done um at costco i spent huh, 97 dollars and 87 cents that um I mean, to some people, that's not that much, but to me, it's like, but also, like, the Hydro Flask was, like, $39.99, so that's, like, a big portion of it, and I already do have a plenty supply stock of, like, basics, like, seasonings and, like, frozen veggies and stuff, so this is just, like, a, a restock for this next week, so it's, 
yeah, it's good. Um, the water is still to be determined. I'm going to be doing some research throughout this next couple of days to figure out what to do. I know reverse osmosis is good. The only thing is you don't want to get it that it's completely taken out all the minerals because that's actually bad for you and it can actually leach the minerals out of your skin, organs, whatever. So the plan is to do some research and figure out maybe some reverse osmosis, but with putting the minerals back in because that sounds like the best and healthiest option to get better water. But in the meantime, we've got that. And then the two jugs that I got earlier from Walmart. We're back, we're back to the house and now we are juicing and Kaya has been so kind as to like rinse a bunch of these things off. Look at us with all our veggies. We're like, we're living life well. Um, so Chip is to bring the trash can right next to where you're cutting veggies so that way when you have all the odds and ends and gross things, you can put them in there. And yeah, so what's great is the Costco here has a lot of organic stuff. So like the carrots are like five bucks for like five pounds of organic carrots, which is pretty good. And then, especially for Oahu, and then there's like these, which I got the other week, which I need to use up. And then ginger, I had a big thing of ginger that I got from, um, for like five bucks for a huge head of ginger. And um, I've had that for about a week and a half. And that was from Wahi Wah at Foodland. But now they finally have ginger back at Costco. So I got some from there, so I'm definitely gonna use it. And yeah, we're gonna use a bunch of this kale so it doesn't go bad. And we have the other bunch in the fridge. And then an apple, two oranges. I'm probably gonna space out the ginger, like half of it now and then half of it in another juice that so I'm gonna pre-make for tomorrow. And some oranges. These oranges are the only thing in here that I think isn't organic. I think everything else is pretty organic. It's just really important to be aware of what you're putting in your body. And I love like how juice makes you feel after you eat it. And all these veggies are yummy. And yeah, I'm excited. I love this little juicer. Um, so to solve the juicing problem, I ended up getting this Hamilton Beach juicer. I know it's not like the best juicer, but it was like $68 from Walmart. I know, an investment, but by the time you buy like six juices, you've already paid for it. So like, it's kind of worth it. And it's really like an investment in your health. That's the way I view it. And yeah, it's an investment that I'm willing to make. So cool. So here's what we got. And here's the juicer. So we got our juices, we're gonna drink up. And this one's a green juice, it's got apple, carrot, kale, ginger. Her face, your face. <laughs> so it's got like all this stuff that's processed here and it's good for us and um, it's gonna be a lot of ginger. I feel like it's gonna burn. Try. Oh, it burns. Just wait for it. It's like a subtle burn. I know, it's like a oil. subtle burn right after you sip it. You're like, oh, this tastes green and refreshing because it has some cucumber in it. Well, I know. <sighs> That's good stuff. Can't good taste for the carrots. Us. <laughs> yeah, you can't taste the carrots. It's like ginger and cucumber is what it tastes like. Salad juice. So I got two things in the mail today. One is like the attachment for my GoPro to my water housing, which I'm so stoked about. So Second, it's something really cute. I'm gonna show you guys some mailing address because it'll be weird. Oh, this is so cute. You guys, this is adorable. I got it from their like Black Friday stuff. It's a little letter. It's a letter and it's like the cutest little thing. I like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I am like a little, oh, that's so cute. Like when brands do something like that, it like means a lot. So if you're a brand, do something like that. It's really cute. Uh, but anyways, um, they have it like in a bag. Like the presentation is like impeccable. Like this is really cute. Oh, you can reuse I'm that. I'm really excited. Like it, I can use this to store it in and like, so this is like the ribbed material. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's really cute and I'm excited. So, yeah. The ribbed material. Yeah, so it's really cute and I'm stoked. So, yeah, that's about it. And now, Kaya just made us like this lovely like little vegetable wrap thing after juicing and oh, sure. then salad burrito. Then we're still like sipping on the juice because it's got so much ginger. And then pretty much I'm just going to edit this vlog for a little bit tonight and then get up early tomorrow and start the day. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you guys again soon.
Thank you.